I think my opponent is basically losing a pawn here. And this is probably even worse, though, because uh, the thing about when you're playing with so-called hanging pawns, um, which is usually pawns on the DNC file, um, nice little tactic here, by the way, uh, knight e3 coming up with, uh, with a fork and then rook takes c2. Uh, the thing about these hanging pawns is that they're very strong together because they control a lot of squares. But once you lose one of them, all of the squares around that pawn become very weak. So it's very often happens that when you lose one of the so-called hanging pawns, um, you, you're going to lose both. And that is why sometimes it's good to have hanging pawns rather than an isolated pawn. Um, because um, because uh, you control more squares. And that is often a choice you get between hanging pawns and an isolated pawn. But also um, it means that um, with an isolated pawn, you only have one pawn to lose in the center. And often that can be, uh, you can gain some square from los losing that pawn, but when you lose, one of the hanging pawns, often your opponent is the one who gains uh, a lot of squares. So it's always an interesting discussion there. <laughs>